This is Claire with another episode of your encouragement for you today. Today I feel like talking about letting go. I've been reflecting this week on how life can sometimes be full of hearts and heartaches. And I was thinking about the times that it's so easy for people to do things that we do not like and this can affect us so much. The reality is that people may offend us, people may do things that we do not like, we may be hurt by one thing or the other, but the truth is you can choose either to hold on to that heart or you can choose to let go of it. I do think that sometimes it takes much more energy holding on to stuff than letting go. It's easier for you to let go of that offense, let go of that bitterness, let go of that issue or disappointment than to hold on because it takes more energy for us to hold on to stuff. I love what Dr. Edith Eger says, suffering is universal, but victimhood is optional. There is a difference between victimization and victimhood. We are all likely to be victimized in some way in the course of our life. At some point, we will suffer some kind of affliction or calamity or abuse caused by circumstances or people or institutions over which we have little or no control. This is life and this is victimization. Victimization comes from outside. It's the neighborhood bully, the boss who rages, the spouse who hates, the lover who cheats, the discriminatory law, the accident that lands you in hospital. In contrast, victimhood comes from the inside. No one can make you a victim but you. We become victims not because of what happens to us, but when we choose to hold to our victimization. We develop a victim's mind, a way of thinking, and being that is rigid, blaming, pessimistic, stuck in the past, unforgiving, punitive, and without healthy limits or boundaries. We become our own jailers when we choose the confines of the victim's mind. Holding on to stuff, bitterness, anger, resentment, makes us to become victims. The difference between victim and victimhood is extracted from the book The Choice Embrace the Possibility by Dr. Edith Eger. So the question for you today is, Are you going to let go and be free or are you going to hold on and keep